Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the energy vibration days in for the Scorpion, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. All righty. Okay, so let's look at, see, we have the energy of the magician, and the energy of the magician is about the manifesto. Okay, it's about bringing things in reality. And the energy of the magician is an air sign energy that helps people to manifest what it is that they want. Confidence, and it has to do with the Gemini and communication. So when the energy of the magician comes up, it's all about you, um, you know, refining your confidence. And that is going to be very good. Because if you notice how um, the energy um, of surrounded the region is that you have the energy of the magician, the chariot, the sun, judgment, and the seven of swords, okay? So a lot of you scorpions are uh, very unhappy over some sort of a deceptive um, situation. So you scorpion are going to be using your confidence and communication. And along with a Gemini, you're going to be resolving some sort of a deceptive uh, um, play at the workplace or on the work floor. That has to do with a young Aries Leo Sagittarian. So this is going to be um, a, a timeline where you are going to be the one that is resolving some sort of an issue, some sort of a problem that was transpired on the work floor where people were creating a whole lot of issues and um, creating a mess, chaos um, that was not needed. If you look in your foundation, the energy of the sun is here. And this is so wonderful because it is in your foundation. Foundation, And the energy of the sun, it is always the energy and a situation with a Sagittarian. So a lot of you Scorpions that was dealing with some sort of, with a, um, some problems uh, um, with a Leo, a Sagittarian, um, I see that this is going to be coming out. People are going to be recognizing the undesirable um, work ethic of a group of people. So you use the energy of the magician and the energy of the magician is here for you guys in order to clear your name from something that you got caught up with. And this is where the, the manifesto come in, where you're going to be showing people what was happening and what was transpiring. So this is a wonderful energy to start any month with uh, and have it as uh, your ground foundation of the month uh, um, to help you. Now, as we look at the energy of the sun, it's in the position of your foundation, your stability. And this is really wonderful because whatever that was happening, a Gemini is going to be recognizing what a Sagittarian have done and the horrible um, disastrous situation um, because the seven of swords is the sun and the moon. So whenever you see anything that comes up with seven and uh, communication wise, the seven of swords, if you notice the energy of the seven of swords, that is what you're going, the, this month is going to be ending where people are now going to be recognizing and seeing the truth of what has happened and what has transpired. So, um, you know, this, this month is being covered in a very, very positive way because the sun is here showing up uh, the miscommunication, the disaster chaos uh, that a Sagittarian and a Leo have done. And a Gemini is now recognizing the truth and is working together with you, Scorpion, in order to balance this situation. And this is going to be absolutely positive. As we look at the energy of the chariot, it's about moving forward. And that is the energy that is coming up in the first week. And this energy of the chariot, uh, anything um, to move forward, and it has to do with the Leos and the Cancer, okay? So it's, it's, it's a weird and it's a strange situation that is happening in transpiring, where a lot of you um, scorpions are dealing with these people, and especially the Leo and the Cancers, the Sagittarian. And um, it's as if these are the people who 
um, a Leo and a Cancer is the ones that have been blocking you Scorpions from moving forward because they have created so many issues, so many uh, chaos around you um, that bring you down in some sort of a way in order for you not to, um, you know, reach out and uh, um, extend the expertise and knowledge that you have because these people basically stand in your way. So in this month, the energy of the magician is going to be removing these people and showing up these people along with the sun. Because the magician with the sun is that you have luck on your side. Okay, so whatever is happening, whatever is going on, luck is on your side, Scorpions. And you are not seeing this at the moment, but as you reach in, you are going to be recognizing this. In the second week, we have the Three of Swords, and that is Saturn in Libran. And Saturn in Libran, there was some sort of a legal issue, some sort of a problem with a colleague that some of you, um, you know, were a colleague that you could, um, you know, really connect with, uh, um, some sort of a problem with this person. And I see that with the energy of the magician, you moving forward, um, away from this person is going to be creating a whole lot of, um, positive energy for you. Now, a lot of you are going to be finding out, uh, that a Leo and a Sagittarian have created a whole lot of issues and a whole lot of deceptive play. And here is where you're going to be recognizing this because I see the heartbreaks is for Leo and a Sagittarian, okay? Um, to along with a Cancer, because when we look at the energy of the chariot, it's about uh, you are trying to move forward, but whoever these people are, are trying to block you. you, you your heart breaks is uh, for a temporary cause because Saturn, Saturn in Libra is going to be coming in in order to rebalance the situation and remove these people out of your life. Because when Saturn comes, Saturn and Mars is these two planets whenever they fall um, in your reading, it's about that they are going to be helping you to remove uh, these obstacles. Because it says if a cancer and a Leo was an obstacle to you. Now, I see heartbreaks for these two people. Whatever that was happening and transpiring, I see heartbreaks is coming up for these two, um, two people. And there is going to be uh, another person um, because this energy can be for um, an Aries D or Sagittarius. So if you, if you recognize that movements, movements are um, where you're, you, you recognize that a young fire sign person wanted to move forward, but it's not going to happen because I see you scorpions are putting a break on this and it's ending this. And I see judgment call is coming out for that person. So if you recognize, um, you know, Whatever the situation is, as you look at these three energies, because in the third week, there is going to be a judgment call. And when a judgment call comes out, is is, is that, um, you know, people have recognized uh, where the problems is and where the problems lie and uh, who was creating all of these. So some sort of a breakthrough, um, Pisces, Cancer, Pluto energy, but this is like a scorpion, you scorpion are going to be breaking through something. So, you know, judgment is all about breakthrough. Some sort of information came out. Okay, some sort of information came out and we have the Pluto energy. And whenever there is Pluto, when it comes on to anything to do with a breakout, it is a scorpion energy and that is your energy. Okay, so the third week is going to be very good because Pluto is going to be coming in to help you scorpions. Okay, and there is going to be some sort of a um, breakthrough where a Pisces could be coming in to help out some of you Cancers in the third week. Okay, um, some of you, uh, Cancer could be coming in to help out some of you Pi um, Scorpion in the third week. So Pluto, um, Pluto is 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 a situation where Pluto decided, hey, I'm moving these uh, um situation out of your life. I'm 
I'm moving a Leo out of your life and I'm moving this Aries Leo or Sagittarian out of your life and I'm making changes, okay? Because Pluto, um, with, um, this energy of Saturn in Libran, there was this Libran, um, that created a whole lot of issues and a whole lot of problems and judgment call comes down on these people because if you know the judgment call is here and some sort of a changes is going to be coming up for a Libran because a Libran, I, I recognize now that, um, you know, they have to make some sort of a changes. They have created so much problems for you, Scorpion, and changes is about to come up on them. Some sort of a information in the third week uh, where Pluto is going to be coming in to remove and end some sort of a situation between you and a Libran. So um, this is going to be absolutely um, fabulous. And whenever the sun and the magician comes up, a lot of you can expect to be excelling, excelling at the workplace. So the last energy, the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is Jupiter in Gemini. And I love this energy of Jupiter in Gemini um, because uh, you have the manifester. And the manifester is the energy of the Gemini. And the manifester um, is the energy of Mercury and communication. And here you're ending um, the month uh, with uh, uh, Jupiter in uh, Gemini. So you're going to be having Gemini supporting you on your journeys. Whatever is happening and transpiring, um, Scorpions, a Gemini is going to be coming in to support you on your journeys. So when we have the Eight of Swords where um, you weren't seeing something, but a breakthrough is going to be coming in in order to release some sort of information to you, you're going to be so happy that uh, this manifester, whoever this person and this energy, the situation is, is protecting you throughout the, these four weeks. Is protecting you and in your foundation, the energy of the sun is here, which means whatever that was happening around you, above you, uh, you know, in, on the work floor, um, in your business, uh, some sort of unexpected breakthrough is going to be coming in where information, Jupiter in Gemini is about, uh, uh, break you with some sort of a positive information that show up that there was some sort of a deceptive play. Another sword energy is the seven of swords, sun and the moon. Sun and the moon is always a deceptive situation because they, you can't have the sun and the moon, um, in at the same time. So, um, obviously light is now shed on some sort of a deceptive play. So um, this is a wonderful um, situation because um, a Gemini, whoever this Gemini is, uh, um, is helping you out. But I see um, whatever the breakthrough, some breakthrough, some information um, was released over a Gemini. And people now recognize uh, um, something about this Gemini, some sort of an information about this Gemini. So what we're looking at is that a lot of you are heartbroken over a Libran. Whoever you are, um, whoever this Libran is, has created chaos for your career. And uh, um, this Libran have worked together with a Leo and a Cancer in order to create um, chaos in your world. And I see at the end of the day, an Aquarian is going to be coming in and said, hey, Scorpions, you got to look at this. Look at this. These three people that you have been working together with, collaborating with, um, these could be people in your team, could be people on the work floor. Um, look at what they have created um, for you not to move forward in a very positive direction. So this is going to be a very sensitive month. And, you know, the people you're supposed to be looking out for is young people between the ages of 25 and uh, 49, um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, you definitely in the first week is going to be having some sort of an issue with a Leo and a Cancer. In the second week, Saturn in Libra is coming in and Saturn in Libra is creating some sort of a changes um, towards you and a Libran. 
um, in an organization, institution, discipline is coming back. Then we see this huge judgment call, a breakthrough comes in where it's going to be helping you. Whatever the information, whatever breakthrough, whatever information that comes out about a Libran and a Gemini, it is going to be making you sad, but yet still, it is going to give you a hop at the end to help you to move out and get out of some unventional play um, that was transpiring and happening. So an Aquarius is going to be backing a lot of you, Scorpion. An Aquarian is having your back in this situation because an Aquarian is coming up and, and you know, sh you know, showing you something that you were not aware of uh, and, and, you know, put in the spotlight uh, on um, a Gemini that a Gemini has been um, giving you signs, information, but you weren't understanding and you weren't seeing. So the energy of the manifesto, um, which is the energy of the Gemini, is on your team, let's say, in this um, four weeks period. And um, they want to correct some sort of a undesirable play that came up. It's a wonderful read and ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see the extended, follow us to the other side. If not, I will speak to you next time. You can pick up the extended by using the join button and the first, uh, the first subscription is yours. Um, if not, I'm wishing you a wonderful time. Namaste.